As reported by BTA, the Bulgarian National Assembly ratified an agreement between the Bulgarian Interior Ministry and Ukraine's Ministry of Defense. This agreement initially signed in Sofia on August 8 and later in Kiev on November 13, involves the donation of 100 armored personnel carriers APC, along with corresponding armaments and spare parts, free of charge, to Ukraine. The decision to provide these APCs originated from the surplus within the Bulgarian Interior Ministry, as outlined in a report by the Parliamentary Defense Committee. These vehicles, no longer required for domestic purposes, were deemed suitable for repurposing donation to Ukraine. During the parliamentary vote, 131 members of parliament expressed their support for the agreement. However, 49 members, primarily from BSP for Bulgaria and Vizrazdain, opposed the decision, while one representative chose to abstain. The voting process was preceded by nearly two hours of rigorous debate within the assembly. Boyko Borisov, the leader of GRB, made statements on social media, citing previous instances, such as providing missiles and ammunition in September, highlighting the significance of the parliamentary vote as a continuation of Bulgaria's support for Ukraine. As reported by Army Recognition on September 28, 2023, Bulgaria's parliament voted behind closed doors to supply unserviceable S-300 missiles to Ukraine. The Defense Commission's report clarified that the agreement entails providing Ukraine with armored personnel carriers, including available armaments and spare parts. This aligns with the broader strategy of repurposing surplus assets no longer needed by the Bulgarian Ministry of Internal Affairs for domestic use. However, the parliamentary discussions faced strong opposition from some members. Borislav Gutsinov from BSP for Bulgaria criticized what he perceived as a lack of military expertise among parliamentarians and described the decision as a matter of concern for the state. Kostadin Kostadinov, chairman of PG Vizrazdain, raised questions about the financial implications for Bulgaria, suggesting that the armored personnel carriers, with minimal usage and preservation, could be valued at approximately 1 billion BGN approximately $560 million. The debates also witnessed tense exchanges. Risto Gadja from GRBSDS clarified that the equipment in question falls under the jurisdiction of the Ministry of Internal Affairs, ensuring that the Ministry of Defense retains its necessary armored resources. Jehan Ibrahimov from DPS urged against political hysteria, emphasizing the pragmatic nature of Bulgaria's contribution and the need to avoid artificially alarming Bulgarian society. Ivalo Mercha from the PPDB countered claims made during the debate, asserting that the donated equipment had not been used for 40 years. He dismissed the notion that the equipment's value amounted to 1 billion BGN, characterizing it as a matter of debate. Merchev underscored the importance of EU compensation for military donations and highlighted Ukraine's substantial purchases from Bulgaria in various sectors. As reported by Army Recognition on August 16, 2023, the example of the BRDM-2 Vavkalaka demonstrates, if necessary, that the Ukrainians will likely have no problem getting these Bulgarian vehicles back into combat conditions.